a local nonprofit is celebrating 40 years of helping support San Diego foster children. Allie Wagner joins us live at Sisters Pizza in Hillcrest with more on Promises to Kids' latest campaign. Good morning, Ms. Wagner. Good morning, and actually, I had Emily who came and just brought up some really yummy food um, that smells very good here at Sisters Pizza. And so, Emily, I'm, I'm going to start with you. Tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here. So these are our Have a Heart Fried Artichoke Hearts, and 100% of the proceeds from them go to Promises to Kids during the entire month of May. Wow. And so tell me, why did you decide to get involved in this? I'm a board member at Promises to Kids. I've been uh, working with Foster Youth for over 10 years now. I started my career as a teacher at San Pasqual Academy, which is the residential high school for foster youth. And I kept in touch with a lot of my former students and saw the struggles that they had transitioning into adulthood. And I saw that Promises was a great helper to help transition them, especially with the Guardian Scholars Program and um, so many, so much other programming that they do that I really wanted to remain involved. Yeah, which, it, it, I mean, such an important topic. And I'm actually, Emily, I'll have you scooch over here and I'm gonna bring in Faye really quick. So Faye, tell me about, because you guys, Promises to Kids is celebrating their 40th anniversary. Yeah, so this year, as you mentioned, is our 40th anniversary. Um, so Promises to Kids, we're a nonprofit organization here in San Diego County, and we help serve of over 3,000 foster youth um, within the county alone. On any given day, there could be um, that number who have unfortunately been removed from their homes due to abuse and neglect. So through Promises to Kids, you know, over the last 40 years, you know, our mission is really to create a brighter future for these foster children, and we do that through our main programs. Um, one of those being our Camp Connect program where we reunite siblings who have been separated in foster care. Um, another one, as Emily mentioned, is our Guardian Scholars program, just making sure that we're able to provide the skills and the opportunities, scholarships and whatnot for foster youth who want to, you know, attain their higher education or just meet their educational goals. Yeah, really yeah. incredible stuff. And I'm going to um, bring in Neftalia, who's here. Good morning. Good morning. So you have gone through Promises to Kids programs, and tell me a little bit about how they were able to help you. Absolutely. So I went into foster care at the age of 11, and Promises to Kids has been with me since I was 12. Uh, which is crazy to say, they got me through my first Christmas, as I've shared multiple times. They got me through, honestly, everything. And as a Guardian Scholar, I'm currently a second year at San Diego State, studying to be a theater major to get my teaching credentials to teach first grade. Um, but I'm a Guardian Scholar, like I shared, and they are a scholarship program that really helps me focus on academics, so I don't have to worry about finances to cover books or cover any expenses that I would come across, which is amazing. Um, I also have younger siblings that I help pretty much raise, and I love them so much, and so it really helps that I can help benefit, give them, so, sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Well, um, just so I can help better their lives, and I don't have to really worry about not only my finances, but giving them whatever they need. So I really appreciate Promises to Kids, because they've always had my back for that, and anything that I need, if anything really I could reach out and they've always had my back so I really appreciate that which is incredible right I mean I, and that's what this month is all about so there's right. a variety of restaurants that mm -hmm. people can go that have gone and created things like they have at Sisters Pizza um, in order to go and give back to Promises to Kids right so um, this is actually our third annual Foodies for Foster Kids campaign and we have partnered with 23 local businesses in San Diego of course including Emily and Sisters Pizza and we're just so grateful grateful, um, you know, to have them step up, especially at a time like now where the COVID pandemic has really impacted, as we all know, everybody, but particularly the restaurant industry. So we just encourage everyone in the community to get out there, you know, dine in, order and order online and support these businesses. And by doing so, you are also helping local foster children right here in our very own community. Oh, which is really incredible. All right, guys, that's a win-win for everybody. Come eat some food and it's going to go to a good cause. We'll send things back over to you. All right. That sounds awesome, Allie. Thank you. Thanks, Allie. Mm -hmm. Great they're getting involved. Hey,